I also feel like if a great Italian chef had this, he'd be like, you're right, this is better than risotto. This is better than my grandmother's cooking. Today on Don't Panic Pantry, we are making a shrimp bog, one of my favorite rice dishes I've ever had. It's almost like a, like a southern style risotto. Um, I made a version of this down in South Carolina with some amazing local product down there, including this stuff, Carolina Gold, one of the best rices in the world. You cook a bunch of aromatics, maybe a little bacon, optional, some Carolina Gold rice, get that all nice and toasty. Then you just kind of slowly build it up with a stock. And the better the stock, the better this will be. I'm using a fish stock I got from a local uh, fishery up here. We've got our Carolina Gold rice. I got one slice of thick cut bacon, a pound of shrimp. When I'm actually cooking things that I have to measure that are all gonna go on at the same time, I like to just do it in one big measuring cup so I can keep an eye on what I'm doing. So we've got a uh, half cup of green bell pepper, half cup of fennel, a cup of chopped up onion, and a half cup of celery with four smashed garlic cloves right on top. So. Bacon in, a little butter. That's just to kind of kickstart the bacon. You can use butter, you can use oil, you can leave out the bacon entirely. The idea is this fat is really here to fry up the vegetables and then to toast the rice. So this is uh, previously frozen fish stock. I'm just gonna bring this up to a little simmer just to get that warmed back up. What the f is the lid to that thing? Basically salt, pepper, and smoked paprika are gonna be the primary seasoning agents of this dish. Uh, fennel is probably not super traditional in this dish, but uh, I like it, and that's an Ari Colander special. My friend Ari is a, a fourth generation Charlestonian, so if he tells me to use fennel in it, I'm fucking using fennel. I'm gonna chuck them right on in there. We're just gonna sweat all this stuff out nice. A little salt slam. Be careful if you're using a fish stock because you never know how salty it's gonna be. Put a little black pepper in there. Do a little splash of olive oil just to grease the wheels a little bit. So we wanna go like 10, 15 minutes on this. You want it to be like pretty fully softened. Um, you want this to not have like a lot of texture on the vegetables left. And it's gonna cook with the rice and everything too, but I just, you wanna get it nice and wilted down before you get the rice going in there. So this guy is all nice and soft. So now we can add in our rice. Now we just want to let this toast for a couple of minutes just to start to kind of open up them rice pours, which might be a thing I made up, but sounds right. I'm now going to add a little bit of our smoky pea in here. Probably like a full teaspoon. You can use regular paprika too, but smoke just gives it that extra little bit of flavor. A lot of people, they try to time it out to cook the shrimp in here with the rice but per the suggestions of my friend Ari, that's a, uh, a devil's gamble. And so uh, he wouldn't say that, but I did, uh, is that what happens is it gets much harder to really time it out perfectly. Uh, so instead, I'm gonna cook the shrimp separately, season it up real nice, saute it on the side, and then fold it in at the very end so you get perfectly cooked shrimp with your perfectly cooked rice. So now what we're doing is just ladling in our fish stock a little at a time. I'm just gonna keep kind of building this up. I'm gonna deglaze any brown spots on the bottom as you go to get that flavor up. And then once you get the liquid mostly evaporated, you add a little more stock and kind of keep going that way. And now is a good time to season your shrimp. You wanna season it about 15 to 30 minutes before you're gonna cook it. I'm just gonna season the shrimp with salt and some more of the smoked paprika. And that just allows that salt to penetrate in there before it gets cooked. And then right back into the fridge, for later. All right, so we're gonna pour in the rest of this fish stock, and then we're gonna go with water the rest of the way. Now that we're out of stock, it's just water. You can kind of start to taste it for seasoning, and you'll be able to tell if it's uh, not too salty now. You can add a little more salt, because it's just gonna get less salty as we add more water, and it all expands. So a little splash of salt in there, a little more water. And we're just building our risotto, our shrimp bog. So the final texture I'm looking for on this is when you finish it, you want it to be a little soupy because it's gonna tighten up in the pan after you finish it. So uh, you, if it's like tight when you're done, it's gonna be like too stiff. So you want it to kind of be able to essentially kind of spread on a plate 
uh, if you when you're done with it. And then it'll tighten up a little bit, but you still don't want it to be like a stiff wad of rice. This guy is basically where we want it. See, it's pretty loose. It's going to set up when it sits, but it's cooked and it's tender and it's delicious. All right, cover this, let it all come together and let's saute our shrimp. All right, now we got a little more butter. Should we do a little, little tamari secret flavor blast on this shrimp? I think we should, folks. I know what you're thinking. Hey, is tamari traditional in a Sullivan's Island, South Carolina shrimp bog? And I, to that I say, it's traditional in that I made it that way once in South Carolina. So now it's a new tradition. Big shrimp. Man. Want these to be just cooked through. And they can even be a touch under, so we're gonna fold them in with our shrimp bog. And so some people might say, hey, uh, you should put way more shrimp in there. It should be a shrimp dish. You could use two pounds of shrimp, and you can definitely do that. Go real heavy on it if you want to. You can mix in some andouille sausage. You can mix in some uh, shredded chicken. Lots of ways to go with this. But I like it to be a delicious rice dish with a little bit of shrimp in it. All right, these are looking real nice to me. So now, turn this off. Take off our weird lid. Pour this guy right in. You ready, Ben? I'm ready. Don't lose all your beautiful shrimp butter. Grab a nice little pinch of our fresh parsley. Chuck that right in. Ooh, baby. Nothing wrong happening in here. Feeling pretty good about that, Ben. It's just great. The texture of the Carolina Gold, it kind of keeps the texture, it stays very creamy. You get all the vegetables in there. You get the fish stock that really kind of flavors it, the smoked paprika. And now the full bite with the shrimp attack. And then for a little extra something, something, a little Crystal's hot sauce. A uh, squeeze of lemon can be nice too sometimes. A little lemon juice, a little hot sauce, never got anybody into too much trouble. God damn. Mm. I like this more than risotto. Come at me, all of Italy. You're welcome, internet.